Welcome to Street Cop Training, formerly NJ Criminal Interdiction for the new members. Welcome to the group. Uh, if you want to look through more videos, you can look down, just scroll down this page. I'm not pointing at just my wiener, but you can scroll down this page here, and you can read the stuff that I give you and any topics you want to discuss. And then what I do is I actually attach the case law. You can click the link and read the case law. So if somebody uh, wants to have a different opinion about things, <clears throat> that's fine. I don't give opinions here in, the, in these videos. I give facts. I just help people understand what the facts are. So anything that I say, it's not something that I made up. It's just me telling you how it works and giving you the cases to read about it so you know what it is. But with that being said, yesterday I was talking to my friend from a Central Jersey department. I don't want to mention it. And he asked me, dude, could you do a video on, like, if we pull into a parking lot and there's a car that's occupied, how can we hold them? You know, can you hold them? What can you do? Can you let them go? And... Um, I guess that's a question a lot of people have. What can you do when you have a car that is occupied that you're stopping to inquire about what's going on in the car, doing what we call a mere field inquiry, right? So it really depends. What are the circumstances behind it? So I gave him these examples. I said, is it 3 o'clock in the morning in a park and it's a park violation and you have them in violation of a code? Um, is it, you know, is it... 2 o'clock in the morning and it's the parking lot of a shop right or a path mark and, and there's nobody else around. It's kind of strange. Is it 2 o'clock in the morning and they're sitting in the side of a house in a neighborhood that's been burglarized? There's a lot of different factors that can go into are you able to hold these people and do a more of a Terry stop versus just a mere field inquiry under State versus Sirianni. Um, but if you're talking about with no other factors, no other reasonable suspicion or anything else coming into play, of why you'd be stopping this car and merely just walking up to a car to see what's going on. What can you do? Um, and I give the example, of you're in a park, it's, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, there's a softball game going on, you're driving through the parking lot, there's 20 cars parked, you happen to see a couple people in the car um, that you know are just sitting there. Can you stop and get out and say, hey, I'm Officer So-and-so with this police department. Hey, can I have your ID? Sure, you're allowed to say that. What if they say no? Well, if you don't have reasonable suspicion to, to require or demand that ID, well, then you kind of have to let them go. But the question is, is how do you position your patrol car? You know, how many people have felt free to terminate a, an encounter with me when I was doing things like this? Not really many, so I don't see you run into that situation. But if you do, just know that if you don't have reasonable suspicion to go along with that stop and people are refusing to cooperate, mm -hmm. you're not building that immediately on your stop or that you're not seeing things or hearing things and you just really have somebody says officer look I, I appreciate that you're doing work here that's fine I'm doing nothing wrong uh, I'm gonna leave you know you gotta be careful about people telling you well no you can't have it and you're getting your you know you can't have ID and then you're getting butt hurt and also you take out the stick you start whacking them in a freaking head you pepper spray them you don't want to do things like that so just the idea of these videos is to give you the knowledge on what you can and can't do so maybe it's a, a an idea that you position your vehicle properly um, you know, you don't have to turn your lights on, put the spotlight in under these circumstances with no reasonable suspicion. But, hey, and maybe pull up behind their car, block the car. And, um, you know, if they request that you for, you know, to leave, then you let them leave. And, you know, you just back your car up. Maybe maybe that's that's an idea. Um, you let them know, hey, I'm just doing a spot. You know, you got to put with your spiel. Hey, you know, there's a lot of we have some issues in this park. I'm checking people's IDs. This is why. You know, whatever you want to explain to people your reasoning for asking them. But. Even on when you walk to the car, you want to be building that reasonable suspicion as you're there looking into the car. What am I looking for? What am I looking at? How are they acting? Is anything weird? Generally, you're not going to have people say to you, well, we're, we're leaving, and you can't take my ID. So, but no, if that's the case, and you're on camera, and you don't have anything to work with, you can't hold people. Um, but most people, again, won't, won't leave. They won't attempt to leave for the most part. Uh, but if you have reasonable, reasonable suspicion, like I said about these circumstances that I talked about before, you're good to go at that point. You can hold on to folks while you're doing a terrorist stop. If they try to leave, you can arrest them for obstructing. If you get a call of, uh, you know, if, you're, if you guys are investigating burglaries that are going on in a neighborhood and it's rampant, it's all day and all night, and you pull into a, into a car and you think these people are burglary suspects and they're trying to walk away, you can arrest people for that. You just have to explain why and what your reasoning was and what your reasonable, articulable suspicion was. So I hope that makes some sense to guys. I invite anybody who's part of this group and the new members to write into me, send me a message, ask questions, or if there's a topic you want me to discuss, I'll get on here. Usually, I get a daily phone call from somebody, and that gives me the fuel to come on here and explain what I explained to them on the phone. Um, so with that being said, 
Have a good night, guys. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you liked what you saw, subscribe to our channel or leave a comment below and also like us too. It means the world to us.